So we had a tree that got hit by a truck. Well, actually, it's a tree that's been hit by a truck so many times in its life that I was surprised it was still standing. You can see all the damage on the trunk all the way up and down. And when we looked around the backside, you can see that the base of the tree has clearly moved and the tree was now resting on the neighbor's house. So it was a little bit too low. It was a UPS truck that came through and this tree really should have been removed a long time ago. Bad spot. So what we had here was because it was resting on the roof, I didn't really want to start cutting up there and have it fall down and damage the side of the house. So I had one of the guys get up there and clear the brush that would have been too close. And then we put this, this prop in here. You see, I had to cut it so that it would fit and be nice and flat. And I, I jammed it in there. I slammed it in with a sledgehammer to make sure it held it in place. And the idea wasn't so much to support the tree, um, but when we made these cuts, I, I didn't want it to start falling. So it's more of a, a prop to redirect it for when we make the big cut, because I was, I was just gonna fell the whole the tree. This would have been a tough one to piece down because it was um, really awkward, you know, getting the bucket in there. It was on a hillside, you know, the, the road was kind of angled down. And I, all I really needed was the, okay, the small truck the and chipper now. to chip it up. So uh, the safest okay. option for me was to clear move. the house and make sure that uh, we could make one good clean cut here. And the prop, as soon as it started to go, should just fall away. So basically all it's doing is keeping it um, kind of leaning in the right direction where we want it to fall. I put a, a wedge cut in here and came in from the backside. And so, sometimes you have to think about these things and say, what's, what's the least amount of damage that I'm going to cause. You know, is it better to make a big drop or is it better to make lots and lots of little pieces? And in this case, um, I made the decision to, to get it down. And, and part of the reason was it was blocking the road. We had to put a sign up down at the end and keep everybody out of this little community um, while we did this work because it was just a, a narrow road. And they were all anxious to get it done really quickly, so I decided to, to make this quick cut here. And uh, you can see what happens now. So you can see the prop just fell away. I had it securely holding it. Uh, I didn't expect it to rotate over. It just kind of gave it a good push in the right direction. Whenever there's a tricky cut like this, I, I usually take over and do it. Uh, you know, the, the guys can do it just fine, but you know, I, I feel a little bit more comfortable making these cuts myself. So, uh, a couple other things. See that piece of wood down there? Right there next to the guys that rolled down there. And he was chipping, and I yelled at him, and he turned around, and it was rolling for him, and he stopped it at the last second. I didn't expect that to happen. So here I'm going to dissect the area where it's been impacted by the truck for so many years. So you can see a little bit of decay on, on this piece right here. And you can see that uh, these things start rolling. I was, one rolled back on me. Let's get in a little bit closer and see what the decay looks like. I cut this big piece in half and it was clearly rotted all the way through. Uh, I'm kind of surprised it didn't fail at that point, but uh, trees are pretty amazing things. So in the same day, I had a, another call. This was from an insurance company and the insurance company is on the East Coast, and they called me and said, would you go out and look at this tree and 
they had all these questions. One that they wanted to know is, did the tree fall over as a result of anything that the homeowner or the previous owners may have done to the tree? And because the whole tree root plate came up, I was able to look at it. And I determined that this tree fell down as a result of heavily saturated soil from all the rain that we've had. And uh, we had a big windstorm come through. We had uh, 40 to 60 mile an hour gusts come through.